The Last Supper, from The Battlefield Where the Moon Says I Love You, by Frank Stanford. I'm afraid after reading all these so-called initiation books that some cortege of bootlickers will enter my room while I'm sleeping and suck my eyes out with soda straws. They will be older men and women, much like the amanuenses with bad breath in the principal's office who call up and tell you the onfirths of the world better beware. I know Jesus would have kicked your teeth in. You couldn't pull that shit on him. He was telling his buddies one night, Boys, I'm glad you all decided to come on up and eat supper with me. I hadn't got much. There's a few things I'd like to say at this time. Matthew says to Simon, I sure as hell don't know what he's got us here for this time. I'm beginning to wonder. You talked to him lately? Yeah. I was shooting the shit with him on the mountain. But I want to tell you this, Matthew. Don't never come up on him when he's alone. He jumped on me. I thought he was going to kill me. He was just walking around, just talking to himself, waving his arms like he does. He's worse than John. Jude put his hand up to his mouth and said down the table, I think Jesus is going off his rocker. Get Simon to tell you what he asked me. Simon says he didn't want to talk about politics or dreams or nothing. He just said, Jude, next time you all over in Mesopotamia, why don't you pick me up a few bottles of that wine they make over there? Sure thing, Jesus, I says. Well, now, the boss is talking. He is saying, I asked you all up here because, frankly... I've been feeling a little sick lately, and I want to make sure you all know what to do in case anything happens. I know one of you is going to do me in. I know that. But God damn it, you all know those people in town are after my ass. The other night, I walked down the streets in a disguise, and I seen a couple of you messing around and drinking with the soldiers. What's going to happen if one of you gets drunk and lets it slip where I'm hiding out. Then I'll be in a fix, you know? If they was to find me, they're going to cut me. You all ever think about that? And Peter, ain't you ever going to get it straight? What you're supposed to do? Give me one of those biscuits, Judas, and go outside and take a look-see. I got you, Jesus, Judas says. John leans over. He says... Been catching any fish, Peter? Oh, well, I've been getting a few of a morning. They ain't biting too good now, you know. On account of this blamed weather, nobody's even listening to Jesus. He's just talking to himself like he was crazy. Matthew says, I believe he's been hitting that wine a little too hard, don't you reckon? Jesus says, another thing. I told all of you it'd be better if you didn't get involved with women. Now listen to that little two-faced bastard, James the Lesser says. We all know what he's up to, shacking up with all those town girls. The other night, he was dressed fit to kill and drunk his $600, a rolling around in the mud like a hog, kissing that whore's foot. <laughs> Why, shit, I wish he'd let us in on what he really does. Thomas spoke up for once. He says... I know what you mean. The other day, Andrew and I asked him about some scripture. He said, leave me alone. I don't know nothing about that shit. And then we seen him cussing out a priest over at the temple. He knew more about it than the elder did. Another thing, Matthew says, I wish he'd start writing what he wants done down and do it so I can read it. You know as well as I do that damn Peter can't keep it straight won't get anything right. Bartholomew says, don't make no difference at all, cause Paul is going to tell it like he wants to, that's for damn sure. All the time, Jesus just mumbling to himself, wine spilt all over his robe. The rest of them chattering and cussing, trying to figure him out. John the Baptist, about the only one Jesus can count on, 
Except for Crazy John is banging his goblet on the table. He is saying now, ain't this a sight? Spitting in the Lord's face at his own birthday party. Ah, swan, brother John, why don't you tell Jesus what the real problem is? The crazy one says, every one of you all is chicken shits. You are afraid to look those elders in the eye and tell them what you think. Y'all get up on a rock to talk and you see a soldier coming and you say, anybody seen a stray mule? Jesus is saying to himself, I'm going to pull those temples down if I have to get me a rope and tie it to a pillar and a jackass and do it myself. Wake up, Jesus, Philip says. Paul, who hadn't touched a drop, gets up and gets his paper out and says, The nature of the problem, Jesus, is this. The people don't believe you. Those fellows in the temples have got it all organized. All they have to do is send out stooges and hire a couple of rednecks who make out like they're crippled. They have a big gathering. They say the same things you say. They pull off a fake healing. The redneck's wife stands up. She says, lie, he ain't lame, he's just drunk. And so all the people go home saying those Christians, what a bunch of wind. See, Jesus, they are using your material, but they ain't coming through. So that is making you an enemy of the people. We just got to get organized, as is proved here today by your followers, carrying on as they did. So, I'm getting sold down the river by the elders and their hirelings, huh? That's right, Jesus. Ask anybody here. Why, I didn't think they'd do that, he says. I told you a long time ago not to keep talking with them. Temple people... John says, you should have known what they was up to. Ain't nobody going to understand you. Why, you ought to know that when we first run on to you, we had second thoughts. We thought you was crazy. There's probably still some sitting down here right this second that still thinks you're a crazy one. But Jesus, you should have known. We've been through a lot together. We go a long way back. You should have listened. All they wanted was you. They're liable to get you yet. Then they won't have no competition. They want to keep feeding the hogs the same slop. They are the ones that want to get fat, man. You listening to me, Jesus? He says, okay, if that's the way they want to do things, at the temple, I'm going to change my tactics. I'm going after those children more than I have been. They'll know I'm telling the truth. I still got a few things up my sleeve. What's that? Paul says. I'm going to do a few things can nobody follow. We could always go back to biting the heads off fish and chickens, Peter says. Why don't you let us in on it for a change, Paul says. We follow you around like we were a bunch of sheep picking up your tab, bailing you out of jail, coming up here all the time for supper, and what do we get to eat? Nothing. Why can't you have a little faith in us, Jesus? Okay. This is what we're going to do, he says. Hold on. Who is that walking up the steps? It's just Judas. How does it go, boy? Judas says. And the other one answers, just fine, Jesus, just fine. And John the Baptist turns around. He says to the one who has just slipped in, boy, didn't I see you talking to some white folks the other day? Here endeth with a chord on the guitar. That's how the men did Jesus, like he was just like another blind singer. The men come down to see with their equipment. They get his song, they pay him $20, and he don't hear from them ever again, except in the mail on Christmas, when one of them might send a $5 check. There won't nobody cash. Oh, tell me, brother, how do the old men feel who were young as purple flowers from Hawaii once they listen to their songs coming in over a borrowed radio? Tell me they don't take up a notch in their belt. Don't they tie another knot in their head? Don't they wring that sweat out? Have mercy, Jesus. Deliver me from the lawyers and the teachers and the preachers and the politicking flies. Can't you hear them buzz? Can't you hear them bite another chunk out of me? Oh, brother, I am death and you are sleep. I am white and you are black. Brother, tell me, I am that which I am. 
I am sleep, and you are death. We are one person, getting up and going outside, naked as a blue jay, rolling our bellies at the moon. Oh, brother, tell me you love me, and I'll tell you too. I want to know, how do they like it when the ones who sung shake their leg on the television? I want to know, Jesus, don't a blind man count no more? Some by signs, others by whispers, some with a kiss and some with a gun, some with a six-bit fountain pen. Oh, Lord, help me and my brother. Help us get through this took-over land.